Have you ever struggled trying to work out what to write about, or maybe what to blog about, or even what YouTube videos to create? Well, today we're going to solve that. In today's tutorial, we're going to be going through how to perform keyword research using Watson Discovery. Fret not, if you don't know how to code, this tutorial is perfect for you. It's a code-free example of how to scrape data off Reddit to do some keyword research. And then we're actually gonna take that same data and integrate it into Watson Assistant. So we have a full blown pipeline to improve our keyword research. Let's get to it. So the first thing that we wanna do is get some data. So given our challenge is to create a keyword research chatbot, we obviously need some data to do keyword research with. So in this particular case, we're gonna be working with the Python subreddit. So what we're going to need to do is get some data from the Python subreddit. So let's just go to, so I'm currently at reddit.com. So, and then we can just go to Python and you can see we've got the Python subreddit here. So what we're going to be doing in order to collect this data is we're going to be using Watson Discovery. So Watson Discovery has an inbuilt web scraper that's going to allow us to collect some of this information that we've got on this page. So if we go into the IBM Cloud Catalog, so it can be accessed by going to cloud, ibm.com and selecting catalog we're able to access a Watson discovery service so in this particular case we just need to go to catalog go on and navigate to services then AI and then head on over to discovery so discovery is the first part of the equation we're going to be using Watson assistant later on but we'll come back to that so let's select discovery and then just choose the light plan more than enough for now. So the light plan will allow you to scrape up to a thousand web pages per month. So in this case, we've got a thousand documents per month, more than enough. So just select light and hit create. And so if we scroll down to our services, you can see that we've got a service there. So this is the one that we're going to want. You can see it's still provisioning. So as soon as that's finished provisioning, we'll be able to access that service. Okay, so we can see that our discovery service is now being provisioned, showing up as active, all great. Let's choose that service. And from here, we just need to select launch Watson discovery. So this is going to take us to a workspace dashboard. And from here, we can do a whole bunch of good stuff. So. Watson Discovery is a really powerful cognitive search engine, but it also gives you the ability to collect data as well. So in this case, what we want to do is connect a data source and just set up with our current plan for now. Hit continue. What we're going to do is use the web crawl feature. So because we're crawling Reddit, all we need to do is just grab some data off Reddit. So let's choose web crawl. And then we're going to grab our URL. So in this case, it's reddit.com slash r slash Python. And we're going to paste that into here. So if you wanted to crawl a bunch of different websites, you could do that as well. So I'm just going to add Reddit, but if you wanted to add others, for example, artificial intelligence, machine learning, a whole bunch of others, you can just add in the additional URLs that you want to crawl as well. You can also specify how often you want discovery to crawl. So if you wanted to, to crawl once a week, you can choose once a week, you can choose once a day, once an hour, once a month. Be careful how much you're crawling. Like you obviously don't want to slam a website, but um, once a week should be fine. Um, and we can also choose the language of content that we're going to extract because as soon as Watson Discovery's pulled a document, it's going to start processing it and doing some natural language processing to extract pieces of information from that data. Now, there's one last thing that we want to do before we trigger our web crawl, and we want to exclude some specific pages from this crawl. So rather than pulling absolutely everything from Reddit, we want to exclude some of the pages that tend to uh, make our data a little bit fuzzy. So, so the first thing that we want to do is specify the maximum number of hops. This is the number of links that discovery is going to follow. So if it finds a link within a page, it might go to that page. That's one hop. If it finds a link within that page, it might go to that page. That's another hop. So in this case, we only really want to take our high level web pages. So we're going to specify the number of hops to one and we're going to exclude some pages. So there's a whole bunch of URLs that are going to give us repetitive results and we wanna exclude those. 
I've gone ahead and grabbed a list of these that you can just tag in. So the first one is search. The second one is flare. Then top. Next one is hot. New. Rising. And that should be about it. Right, so this is going to any page that has this inside of their URL, we're going to be excluding that from our web crawl. So we can then hit submit and hit save and sync. So all things going well, we should be able to crawl some data from the Reddit site. Now this might take a little while for the crawl to complete. So as soon as it's done, you'll start to see results here. While that's happening, let's rename our discovery environment. So we can just change this from web crawl, blah, 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 to pi uh, discovery web crawl Reddit Python and hit save. Five minutes later. All right, and we're back. So you can see that Discovery's now retrieved some results from Reddit. We've got 17 documents and we've also got some entities and concepts that have been extracted. Now, we're not gonna spend too long discovering what's in Discovery, but I will quickly show you how to query. So if we select the search button, we can search for documents and then say we wanted to look at all the examples of articles that had Python in it. We can just type in Python and this uses natural language query to go through to our discovery documents and bring back some results. And you can see, so we've got a whole bunch of Python results. So particle physics in Pygame, small Python script, trained a deep learning model. Um, so you can see that it's actually returned a whole bunch of results that it's actually gone and grabbed from Reddit. So this gives you a bit of a heads up as to how to perform some keyword research. So you'll, you start to get a better understanding of the trending topics that are on a specific Reddit page. Now that doesn't conclude today's tutorial. We also need to integrate this into a chatbot. So to do that, we'll go back to our IBM Cloud account hit catalog. And then remember I said before, we we're going to be using Watson Assistant. So if we select services, then AI, and then Watson Assistant. Now we're going to be using a specific type of skill within our assistant called a search skill. Now search skill is available inside of the plus trial or the plus and premium plan. So in this case, if you don't have a service already, just select plus trial and hit create. I've already got one created, so let's step over into that. So if you've just created your assistant and spun up a new service, you'll automatically be redirected to this manage page. From here, all you need to do is select launch Watson assistant. Now that we're at our assistant, so all we need to do is hit create assistant. We're going to, going to call this particular assistant Reddit keyword research, then hit create assistant. Then from here, it's pretty easy. All we need to do is associate our discovery web search to our assistant. To do that, all we need to do is select add search skill. And what we're going to do is create a new skill and call it Reddit search. Let's call it Reddit Python search and hit continue. Now, because we've already got our Watson Discovery instance set up, all we need to do is choose that from here. Remember, our instance was called discovery-7q, so we just need to select that. And you can see our Discovery web crawl, the Reddit Python environment, which we named up here, is automatically showing up. We just need to have that selected and hit configure. Then from this page, we just need to configure what we want our results to look like when we query our chatbot. So you can see here that we've automatically got it pretty much preset up. So it's extracting our title and setting that as a title. It's extracting the body and setting that as the body. And it's also extracting the URL and including that as well. So ideally when you set this up, every time you query this search skill, you're going to get a result that looks a little bit like this and gives you a better heads up as to what keywords you need to be targeting. So for this, we're just going to hit create. 
So now that we've created our search skill, what we're going to do is just step back into it and hit try it. And from here, we can actually test out how well our results are. So say the first thing that we wanted to query is the obvious, so Python. All we need to do is type in Python. And what's happening is our chatbot is now going out to our Watson Discovery service and getting results from our Python web search. So you can see that we're actually returning some results that we had within our Python documents. So that's Python, a pretty obvious one. Uh, what about machine learning? So using discovery, we've been able to crawl our data from Reddit and get some results. And then by integrating it into what's an assistant using a search skill, we've now been able to surface those keyword research results to our users and to yourself. Now, if you wanted to, you could then go and integrate this into a web page or integrate it into a client tool if you wanted to allow them to get some ideas on keyword research going forward. That about wraps up this tutorial. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in guys. Hopefully you found it useful. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share and subscribe. And if you've got any questions at all, be sure to drop a comment in the comments below. Peace.